This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday the 13th. I'm James Spann. Now, the snow fading away across Alabama today. And boy, next week, some spring fever is going to break out. Let's get in there and take a look out the window. Some of the sky cam shots. Despite that strong sun, we've still got snow on the ground in parts of North Alabama. That's the Coleman sky cam. In fact, that's amazing how much snow has survived the day. That's our Haleyville sky cam in the shaded area. Still a lot of snow there. And if you're tired of snow, how about that view? Gulf Shores on a sunny winter day. Yep, spring will be here before you know it. It's almost that time. Pretty cool look at the snow cover across North Alabama this morning on the visible satellite uh, shot. See the Tennessee River nicely there. But again, that's uh, faded quickly this afternoon. Oh boy, what a big storm rotating up the eastern seaboard. Ice, snow, rain, wind. It's been pretty bad, but things will settle down there by tomorrow. And look at the warm-up today. Now, it's colder up north. Decatur's only at 39, Coleman at 43. But around here, uh, we're pushing 50. In fact, Tuscaloosa's hitting 53, Birmingham at 47. Feels so good. Feels like a heat wave. Around the nation, there's a new surge of colder air coming down from the north, and a cold front uh, representing the leading edge of that will bring a band of showers in here tomorrow night. Here's a watch warning map. Uh, winter storm warnings continue from North Carolina to Maine. But again, that thing will be winding down late tonight and tomorrow morning. Here's the rain for the next five days, about one half inch. This is valid through Tuesday evening of next week. Have a chance of showers tomorrow night, maybe another little batch of showers Monday night, but uh, uh, no really super duper big rain event. Take a look at modeling. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid at noon tomorrow at 500 millibars. You can see that energy northwest of the state and uh, rain uh, will break out. And maybe some snow from St. Louis uh, down toward Memphis. But around here, we warm up nicely. The high should be in the upper 50s tomorrow. Clouds will increase during the day. And here comes that batch of showers. This is the uh, high-res NAM, valid at 6 o'clock. And a uh, nice little batch coming through the state. Should produce maybe a quarter to one-half inch. Don't think it'll rain too long, but it clearly will rain. But the rain moves out for the weekend. This is Saturday, another coastal low going up the eastern seaboard. Hopefully that stays offshore enough to prevent major problems, but it looks like there could be some snow for uh, New York City and Boston with that. But Saturday for us, it'll be a, a cool day. The high will be in the mid to upper 40s. A, a north breeze, bright and sunny. In fact, I say north breeze. The high is pretty close. It'll be probably a calm north wind almost. Highs, I'd say 46 to 50. And Sunday, the big warm-up begins. Lots of sun, the high in the low 60s. Yes. Go to next week. This is Monday. Another uh, wave north and west of the state. Monday night, a cold front comes through with a dying batch of showers. We'll mention that, but it's not much of a deal. And Monday's going to be mild. The high should be in the upper 60s. And here's Tuesday. And the GFS is printing a high of 72. Break out the tank tops and the flip-flops. Really the same thing on Wednesday. The GFS is showing 73. There's some moisture in place, and I guess there could be a shower, but there's no really dynamic support for rain. And here's Thursday, same deal. we got a front north of us, and that might uh, kick off a shower by Thursday night, but the, hopefully the day will be dry. It's still very, very mild. A chance we'll see low 70s on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And look at the anomalies on uh, Thursday. Uh, and that's... Uh, that's something now uh, you know we saw numbers like that on the negative side for so much of uh, December and January nice to see the warmth those red colors look good what there are a few more days here's the 23rd Sunday the 23rd strong cold front coming in with a good batch of showers maybe some thunder and then a shot of cold air the following day Monday the 24th uh, the 540 line goes down below Birmingham so I uh, understand we'll have a lot of cold shots here but we're certainly on the downhill side of winter Here's the end of the forecast, the 1st of March. That is the first day of meteorological spring. And again, the, the core of jet is north of here, and again, that's going to be relatively mild. So any cold shots over the latter part of the month should be very short-lived, and I think most people will appreciate that. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by tomorrow morning at 7. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.